Sexy Tarot. Virgo, this will be your edition of Sexy or Messy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Virgo, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Virgo, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy of your person is on this side as opposed to this side. Feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Virgo, as I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a prenatal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Virgo, this is how sexy or messy is going down. Your energy will be here. Your person's energy will be here. The challenges that the two of you face will be here. This will be the potential outcome, and this will be the mutual energy between you and your person. So, Virgo, let's see if you and your person's situation is sexy or messy on the crack. Well, shit is messy. Like, you don't even need to read, and I'm just saying. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or, or an Aries. I'm just saying, all oh, hell breaking loose. It's drama. It's fighting. It's competition. I mean... Shit is going down, Virgo. Stuff is falling all apart. Things are out of control. One good shuffle for the Virgo. Seem like y'all need conflict resolution. Y'all really has been real uh shady lately. Spirit, is Virgo's situation sexy or messy? Is Virgo's situation sexy or messy? Virgo, your energy is represented by the Queen of Swords. You like, I know the truth. I already know what's going on. All right. Your person's energy is represented by the sun. They saying they know the truth too. Maybe y'all just told the truth to each other. The challenges that the two of you face is the ace of swords. The truth, a decision. But Virgo, I think you cutting somebody off. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo, but I'll get to that. And this is the potential outcome. Virgo, the mutual energies between you and your person is the world. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign, such as an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, or a Taurus. But I feel like it's a cycle being closed out here. I mean, somebody could be moving. I mean, because I see the tower, people being thrown out the house and shit, whatever. But it seems like there's some emotional distance here, some physical distance. Somebody could be traveling, but something definitely being closed out. Virgo, since this is your read, I'm going to let you take the lead and let you tell me what's going on. At the bottom of the deck, here with that house I was talking about, the four of wands. The king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, and the page of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. Virgo, I feel like somebody trying to apologize to you. They don't want you to slip away. I feel like you don't want to hear it, though. I feel like it back turned to the situation. Somebody want to come back home. Or want you to come back home. That's how I feel. I feel like this is somebody you could have been married to or um, in a relationship with. Or this is a family dynamic or can be it can be involved with some children. But I feel like somebody is apologizing and they want the other one to come back home. I feel like somebody either too far away or it's a lot of emotional distance. Woo! What a way to start a reading. 
Virgo, your, your energy is represented by the Queen of Swords. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. But Virgo, I feel like there's some truth you facing. I feel like you know the truth. I feel like you ain't playing no games right here. I feel like you making a decision to end something. Let's see what this Queen of Swords is about for you, Virgo. I feel like you in this no-nonsense type of energy. Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords here for Virgo? Please and thank you. Let me take a sip of my damn water. At the bottom of the deck, you have pulling you up. You have trapped. And you have not this lifetime. Virgo, I feel like you ain't trying to hear a damn thing. You've been hurt. You tired of being stuck in this situation. You trying to you tired of holding people up, making sure they get through. I feel like when you need people, they ain't there for you, but you always there for them. Mm-hmm. Virgo, I feel like with this Queen of Swords and this lusty energy, I feel like you want to know the truth. Is you want to end, you want somebody to tell you the truth, or are they going to end their lustful ways? Or you cutting out having sex with this person? Something like that. You might feel like somebody promiscuous out here. You might be telling them, look, this ain't even love, this just sex. What you talking about? Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords and lust, Lusty here? For some of you, you just had a, a, a booty call with this person. <laughs> I'm sorry. Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords and Lusty here for this person? You could have got this booty call while you was traveling. Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords and Lusty here for Virgo? At the bottom of the deck, you had building a future. You had butterflies and disharmony. And Virgo, you telling me everything is not cool on the home front. You know, you don't know. You nervous. You don't know if you could build a future with this person. Because things ain't working out. Y'all not on the same page. Virgo, it's like somebody being real immature here with his children or children could be involved. I feel like, Virgo, you making a decision um, or somebody's making a decision to cut this uh, lust out. they like, this ain't even love. This is immature, premature communication. Or somebody stopping this lust or stopping having the sex on behalf of the children. Maybe the kids caught somebody in bed. I don't know. You know your life. But you know I'm on the right track, don't you, Virgo? Spirit, tell me about these children for Virgo. Why are these children here for Virgo? But I see a truthful conversation being had here. And this is, um, it might be involving a lawyer, a marriage. At the bottom of the deck, you had growth. You have happiness and creativity. And Virgo, what you telling me is you just want to be happy. You trying to create a happy future for yourself. You just want to grow and expand. Virgo, you got faith. You have faith. Some of you dealing with a Taurus. But Virgo, I feel like you leaning on your intuition. I feel like that you in this spiritual space right now. You might have faith or want to do what's best for these kids. Or somebody wants to do be what's best for these kids. So they're like, look, we can't have sex no more. Or somebody like, this ain't going nowhere. Somebody getting cut off here. Because they either feel like the other, they somebody getting cut off because they feel like this is just sex. And it's not going nowhere. Or somebody is cutting this off because they like, um, this just sex and we can't be doing this around the kids. Or somebody is ending it 
cutting it off because they married and somebody cheating on the marriage and they acting like a kid. Spirit, why is faith here for Virgo? Why is faith here for Virgo, Spirit? Please and thank you. Why is faith here? At the bottom of the deck, you have harmony. You have chemistry and clashing. And Virgo, you telling me y'all not on the same page. But y'all got good sex, though. But even that, it's like y'all got difference of opinions about how sex should be approached. Some y'all might be fighting because somebody cheating. For some of y'all, the sex ain't what it used to be. Virgo, you have depth. You have depth, complexity, awareness, importance. And Virgo, I feel like this is a very deep conversation happening here. Like somebody getting to the meat and the potatoes of the situation. And they like, you know what? You know, you cheating on me or this ain't nothing but sex. And we supposed to be married. What we going to tell the kids? Or, you know, somebody like, we need to cut this out because of the kids. Some shit like that. But you, y'all taking a deep dive. This is a serious conversation being had here. Like, we got to end this. Somebody like, we got to cut this shit out. Tell me about this depth for Virgo. What do they get into the depth of? What do they get into the depth of, spirit? At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. Some of you are doing with a Pisces. You have the clock. Something real toxic here. And the birds. And this is the conversation. Somebody is having a conversation here like, can this work? Well, no, let's just give it some time. Because things change. My emotions change. Somebody feel like somebody out here hoeing. I don't even want to miss words. Somebody like, you a slut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not saying they saying about you. You could be saying this about this person. But somebody is taking a deep dive to see if it's hope to change the situation. I'm here like, why don't you stop doing that around the kids? Like, you just doing this all around your kids. And somebody taking a deep dive, like, I don't know if it's hope to change this. Virgo, your person is represented by the sun. The sun. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. But Virgo, your person is confused. They just don't know. They don't have clarity. They don't know what to tell you. They at, they at a crossroads. Your person is like, they might be happy causing confusion, but I feel like your person don't know what they want. I feel like your person is afraid to listen to their intuition, and that's what leaves them in a state of confusion. And I feel like, Virgo, your person is saying one day, one day, not two day, one day, someday. They'll make a decision. But right now, they're confused. They don't know if they want to take action on this love. they like, maybe another time. But right now, they're confused. Virgo, the challenge, is, the challenge here is this Ace of Swords. Either somebody not telling the truth or a decision is not being made. But the challenge is somebody like this over. Bye. Somebody use this big-ass sword, this big-ass sword right here. They spoke their truth, and they like, my decision is to end it. That's the challenge. Somebody is afraid of this attraction. So, or somebody could be afraid of the other one. Somebody like, look, there's no loyalty here. Somebody worried that the other one can't be faithful. 
So maybe this is you, maybe this is your person, but it look like for right now, it's some distance here and something's closing out. So Virgo, before I get you the potential outcome, I'm going to get you the energy of um, somebody watching the other one's social media real heavy, real heavy. I'm going to get you the energy of your person towards you, Virgo. Spirit, what is Virgo's person's energy towards Virgo? What is Virgo's person's energy towards Virgo? Spirit, please and thank you. Alpha male, alpha female. Whoever this female is, this is a strong female. Okay. So there's the alpha female here. She's a go-getter. She knows what she wants. She's very sexy, desirable. Spirit, what is Virgo's energy towards their person? I mean, what is Virgo's person's energy towards Virgo? What is Virgo's person's energy? Wendy Williams, somebody gossiping about this female. Y'all know Wendy Williams is the queen of gossip radio talk show. Somebody is gossiping about this female. This female is highly sexual or gets a lot of attention. Like they energy towards you is like you need your ass beat. That's what it's saying. It says, low-key need they ass beat, talks about everybody, always in drama, insecure, shady as hell. So, Virgo, your person's energy towards you is they feel like you shady if you're a female. If you're a male, Virgo, you feel this way about a female. But somebody feel like it's this real sexy, provocative female Real strong, know what they want sexually, and somebody feel like they need their ass beat low key. And this person, they feel like um, this person be talking about everybody and be causing drama and shady as hell. If you're a female Virgo, this is how they feel about you. If you're a male Virgo, you might be feeling this way about somebody. Spirit. What is Virgo's person's energy towards Virgo? Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Pretending to be more than they are. Keeping up with the Joneses. Not allowing people beneath the surface. So somebody, Virgo, this person, if you're a female Virgo, they feel like you fake. They feel like you um pretend to be something you're not. Maybe you're an actress or something, because Lil' Kim out here. Um, they feel like you just trying to keep up with the Joneses, what's going on in the streets, and that you you not letting people know what's really going on. Yeah, about what you really do in your spare time with quality time. Spirit, what is Virgo's person's energy towards Virgo? What Natural beauty. Natural beauty, everything else is a plus. Ram the way, girl, stylish, sex appeal, starstruck, showstopper, lover in the front. Virgo, so they feel like that um, you be faking how sex sexy you are. They feel like um, like you be doing stuff to get attention, sexual attention, though. You know what I mean? Like you be faking like you innocent. That's what they saying, like you faking like you innocent. Because Debbie and Friday, right, she came across as real innocent. And they feeling like you faking it just to, I don't, that's just what I'm getting. What's under here? Sound of music, signs through songs, healing music, meditation, sound, singing bowl, nature song, pay attention to lyrics. They feel like you might always be somebody that listens to a lot of music and put a lot of emphasis into the lyrics. Spirit, what is Virgo's person's energy towards Virgo? What is... 
judge of character, Judge Mathis. Um, Virgo, this person could be judging you or maybe y'all handling something in the court system because this queen of swords could sometimes be a lawyer. I mean, yeah, lawyer. So somebody could be being judged or with Wendy Williams and Alpha Female, somebody judging somebody for the way they behave and behaving and it's provocative. Because Wendy Williams, that's a gossip hole. And Judge Mathis, somebody could be judging this person's character like, no, they out here, they just a slut. You know, they be acting like they innocent. They ain't even innocent. Or they be acting like they freaky. They ain't even freaky. And this person is being judged. Or it could be something being judged in the court system because the way somebody acting around these kids, because I can't forget them ch that children card and that lusting. Tell me about this uh, one more energy for Virgo's person towards Virgo. Somebody is about to spin a block. The past returning. Somebody is about to spin a block. The past returning. It's like it's some issue that's coming right back up in court. Or somebody is... Is some issue coming right back up about somebody's character being judged. Okay? So, I don't know what that's about. And it look like whatever this is, it's going to be the end all, the be all to everything with the main event and cut. Okay? Whatever. The potential outcome for you and your person, Virgo, is I feel like um, somebody into some type of bondage. That's what I'm getting. A BDSM, some sadomasochist stuff, and somebody want to reconcile, but maybe under certain conditions. See, it's a lot of sexual shit going on here with passion and ecstasy. I'm getting like, yo, somebody trying to keep the control over some kids or they, they like, look, we got to take control over this. Like if we come back together, it got to be under certain terms and conditions because when it comes to this passion, this ecstasy, somebody like, no, we got to set some boundaries because you're not loyal. That's what somebody, you seeing this to somebody or somebody seeing it to you. Virgo, from the time I cracked the damn cards, I can tell you this, this situation is totally messy. Virgo, 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 this has been your edition of Sexy or Messy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Virgo. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video, Peace, Virgo. I hope I ain't going to keep that to myself. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it depends on who the car chooses. Even emotional bruises. Uh, yeah, and when the truth comes out, I know these suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. There's no need to speak because you know what the news is.